And to the people of Madian, we sent their brother Shu'aib. He said, O my people, worship Allah. You have no deity other than Him. There has come to you clear evidence from your Lord. So fulfill the measure and weight, and do not deprive people of their due, and cause not corruption upon the earth after its reformation. That is better for you, if you should be believers. And do not sit on every path, threatening and averting from the way of Allah those who believe in Him, seeking to make it seem deviant. And remember when you were few, and He increased you, and see how was the end of the corruptors. If there should be a group among you who has believed in that which I have been sent, and a group that has not believed, then be patient until Allah judges between us, and He is the best of judges. Said the eminent ones who are arrogant among His people, We will surely evict you, O Shu'aib, and those who have believed with you from our city, or you must return to our religion. He said, Even if we were unwilling, we would have invented against Allah a lie if we returned to your religion after Allah had saved us from it. And it is not for us to return to it except that Allah, our Lord, should will. Our Lord has encompassed all things in knowledge. Upon Allah we have relied. Our Lord, decide between us and our people in truth, and you are the best of those who give decision. Said the eminent ones who disbelieved among his people, If you should follow Shu'aib, indeed, you would then be losers. So the earthquake seized them, and they became within their home corpses fallen prone. Those who denied Shu'aib, it was as though they had never resided there. Those who denied Shu'aib, it was they who were the losers. And he turned away from them and said, O oh my people, I had certainly conveyed to you the messages of my Lord and advised you, so how could I grieve for a disbelieving people? And to Madian we sent their brother Shu'aib. He said, O oh my people, worship Allah. You have no deity other than Him. And do not decrease from the measure and the scale. Indeed, I see you in prosperity, but indeed I fear for you the punishment of an all-encompassing day. And O oh my people, give full measure and weight in justice, and do not deprive the people of their due, and do not commit abuse on the earth, spreading corruption. What remains lawful from Allah is best for you, if you would be believers, but I am not a guardian over you. They said, O oh Shu'aib, does your prayer command you that we should leave what our fathers worship, or not do with our wealth what we please? Indeed, you are the forbearing, the discerning. He said, O oh my people, have you considered? If I am upon clear evidence from my Lord, and he has provided me with a good provision from him, and I do not intend to differ from you in that which I have forbidden you, I only intend reform as much as I am able, and my success is not but through Allah. Upon him I have relied, and to him I return. And, O oh my people, let not your dissension from me cause you to be struck by that similar to what struck the people of Noah, or the people of Hud, or the people of Salih, and the people of Lot are not from you far away. And ask forgiveness of your Lord, and then repent to him. Indeed, my Lord is merciful and affectionate. They said, O oh Shu'aib, we do not understand much of what you say. And indeed, we consider you among us as weak. And if not for your family, we would have stoned you to death, and you are not to us one respected. He said, O oh my people, is my family more respected for power by you than Allah? But you put him behind your backs in neglect. Indeed, my Lord is encompassing of what you do. And O oh my people, work according to your position. Indeed, I am working. You are going to know to whom will come a punishment that will disgrace him, and who is a liar. 
So watch. Indeed, I am with you, a watcher, awaiting the outcome. And when our command came, we saved Sha'ib and those who believed with him by mercy from us. And the shriek seized those who had wronged, and they became within their homes corpses fallen prone, as if they had never prospered therein. Then away with Madian as Thamud was taken away. When Shu'aib said to them, Will you not fear Allah? Indeed, I am to you a trustworthy messenger. So fear Allah and obey me. And I do not ask you for it any payment. My payment is only from the Lord of the worlds. Give full measure and do not be of those who cause loss. And weigh with an even balance. And do not deprive people of their due, and do not commit abuse on earth, spreading corruption. And fear he who created you, and the former creation. They said, You are only of those affected by magic. You are but a man like ourselves, and indeed, we think you are among the liars. So cause to fall upon us fragments of the sky, if you should be of the truthful. He said, My Lord is most knowing of what you do. And they denied him, so the punishment of the day of the black cloud seized them. Indeed, it was the punishment of a terrible day. And to Madian we sent their brother Shoaib, and he said, O oh my people, worship Allah and expect the last day and do not commit abuse on the earth, spreading corruption.